God morning to you. Sit. Or stand. Or bow or kneel. Every move you make or don't make is in him. I'm seated. In him speaking, him, breathing her, down into my feet, exhaling into my legs, exhaling into this heart, exhale into that heart. Don't think about it. Don't think, just hear. The silence that has replaced your thinking, that edged in on it and consumed it. Assume that the silence is your mind now. Like it's saying, look at me. I'm the captain now. When a thought comes, don't look at it, look at me. Don't take your eyes off me whether they're open or closed. Notice how you can lock in on me. It's not hard. You just believe it is. Every time that belief comes, exhale it away. And Voskamp said, when I feel worry today, I will simply exhale. Worry is belief gone wrong because you don't believe that God will get it right. And peace is belief that exhales. It is knowledge. Exhaling. Love exhaling. Comfort. Exhaling. She says there is no need to produce or perform or perfect. Simply become a place for God. Affirm, I will simply become a place for God today. And feel the softness of that. The openness of that. You are a temple. And how do temples sound inside? Sometimes you hear bells ringing. The sound but most of the time it's so quiet you could hear a pin drop. When you're in sacred spaces like that, you do your best to not move too much, to be too fidgety. You sit still. Every movement is intentional, is holy. Can you be like that today? Can you serve like that today? Can you serve without an attitude today? Your children or your partner or your coworkers or your boss or your pet? Can you do it without haste, without just trying to get it over with? Can you do it like that's God in need of service? Can you look down at that body like, thank you for appearing as me? Yogananda said, God is manifest in you in a way that he is not manifest in any other human being. Your face is unlike anyone else's. Your soul is unlike anyone else's. You are sufficient unto yourself. For within your soul lies the greatest treasure of all. God, thank God for this moment of peace, of clarity of remembrance. Thank God for this day, the opportunity to get to do it again, to get to practice again, to try again. Thank you, God, for allowing me to feel your presence, to know you, to fear not, to think not, to hear silence, which means to hear your power, to know that whenever I am afraid, it's because I'm not listening for you anymore. I'm listening to myself. I'm listening to my thoughts. I'm believing my fear. But by your grace, I hear your sound and I am comforted again. I become a place for you again.
I carry you again, your name, your sound. This practice is your cross and your crown. You feel weak, fragile, but in him, as him, you are strong. Posture into that strength. Sit up into that smile, into this reality where what you were just praying for, what you were just hoping for, is finished. It's done. It was done weeks ago, months ago, years ago. It was done in the beginning. You've been that. Exhale, I am that, now, I love you, and we'll chat soon. If this episode helped you feel good, helped you feel God, then leave a review on Apple Podcasts and screenshot it and send it to me for a free gift and follow me on Patreon so I can see you, so I can see your smile.